Hello, everybody. Well, it's my first makeup tutorial that I've done in a little while, and it is special because it is inspired. It is somewhat of an MJ inspired look. Okay, very inspired. But I'm gonna follow the contours of my own face. Anyhow, before I start, I will make it clear that. No, I am not attempting to demean the king of pop in any way. No, I wouldn't do that. Being that I too am a big time fan myself. Mm-hmm, that's how those characters came across. That's how Marco and Matteo came about. Since they too are fans. Matteo is, of course, the Neapolitan cousin to Marco, whom we all know comes from Florence. All right, here I go now. Uh, all right, then, with that being cleared up, let's get started. I already, I'm going to start on the eyes first, since it's going to be pretty dark around the eyes. So, this would probably be one of the looks inspired by him the darker one. This is probably that of the bad era, but that is one of my favorite eras, by the way. So, I'm just going to start out with the eyes. I didn't do any foundation or anything like that because there could be fallout. All right, and I already curled the lashes. So, that said, well, that being said, let's get started. What I'm going to start out with is a bit of eye primer. And I hope you can see what I'm doing. Where is it? <laughs> I should have organized it a little better. There it is. <laughs> I use my usual one when I use primers. Excuse me a second. <laughs> Primers out. I had to to blow my nose because it's kind of cold out right now, and who knows what allergens could be floating around in the house. So anyway, usual eye primer. You know the drill. You know the drill with primer. I always prim if I'm using powder chowders, which isn't very often anymore since I use either my nude or bronze cream eyeshadows anymore. It's a cream that they're so easy to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime both eyes. Right now I mean, we all know how to the drill of priming the eyes and what this particular one needs. And squalane, like I said, can come from an olive pit. So, it, all right, so it's a naturally occurring. And had also found out that isodotacane is actually naturally occurring, comparing to what I originally thought it was. I thought it was synthetic, but it's not. It's not man-made at all. It is a naturally occurring hydrocarbon, in case you didn't know that. Or I should have said, did you know that it is a naturally occurring uh, hydrocarbon isodotacane. Anyway, I hope you... Uh, sorry that my camera isn't... There, there we are. I should have lifted my camera up. Anyway, I'm just adding up a primer. A couple layers of it to help it stick in place. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a bit of my skin powder to my brow bone to set it in my crease a little bit so it doesn't so it doesn't um, come and settle into my into my folds you we all know the drill and I'll be actually I'll think I'll just go ahead and do the usual drill so that we can get to the real part of the of the mo the makeup look we're going for. Okay, so we got 
the eyes prepped. So let's see if I can't find a better place to place my camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start out with, with black eye pencil just to set the base of where the darkest point is supposed to be because if you've seen the pictures I have many times. <laughs> Many times. Uh, okay, where is the sharpener? Where is my sharpener? God, I can't. Appears I can't find my pencil sharpener, so I just have to sharpen it at another time. But I'm just gonna line the eye at first with the black pencil. This is just gonna be a base for where the darkness is gonna go. It'll be set at the root of the lash line in black, but. It'll be gradated, so I'm just going to go all the way over the lid on the top. At first, just the top. Whoops. The, there we go. Slight. Oh, you seem to have a bit of a flick, but I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, both eyes are aligned, if you can see that. Right now, that's just the eyeliner. But I'm gonna set it at the root of the base. Gonna might wanna smudge that a little bit before I go forth. Okay. Okay, where's my smudger? There it is. I have another smudge brush in my bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one. First, first kind of blend that liner out because the liner in that time period, that period, that era was not, did not, doesn't appear like it was always very hard of a line, but this is only the basis for how it starts, the color where the darkest point begins. The darkness is. This eyeliner is often very diffused, or so it seemed to be in the pictures of what I've seen. I'm just going to smudge that, since this is just a base. I'm going to go over that line a little bit later on. I'm going to reline the eye again with liquid or something like that later on, so it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. All right, here we go. All right, I smudged that out, and I'm going to go ahead and use Max Carbon or any intense black you have. A matte one is preferred. I'm just going to put that right at the root of the eyelash line. Just going to take a bit of that, a good amount of that on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and line the top of the lid. Kinda like go push that black right into my upper lid. If you can see what I'm doing. That's where it's gonna be blackest. But the other one will be put A brown will be put on over the, over the rest of where it was smudged. I'm just keeping the definition on the lid. On the lash line, rather, sorry. Alright, here we go. That's what you should have. Uh, 
it's already beginning to become quite dark. And I'm gonna go ahead and do make even with the other side and we'll go ahead and and we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of that together, okay? All right, I set, well, darken the liner again at the, just the root of my lash line. All right, so next is we're gonna go ahead with the darkest brown and I'm gonna get a, try to get a different brush for this. Oh, Jesus, where did I put it? Excuse me, guys. There it is. There it is. Anyway, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush. And I'm gonna use this one. This dark gets brown eyeshadow from the Quad Hazy Hazels. And it's Eye Slips and Face, the brand name. And I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm a, I'm a go ahead and lift, lift the lick. I'm gonna go ahead and add that on over the, over top of that black that we put there earlier. At first, we're just gonna place that. I'm not gonna really be worrying about smoothing it right now. Cause right now we're just gonna worry about the placement. And I'm not worry, we're just gonna focus on the placement and already it's beginning to get darker but I kept there uh, of course I'm just I'm going to diffuse that line of that a little later after I do the other eye again you want to do the same all the same thing don't worry, get rid, rid, don't worry about, <coughs> I can't really talk, huh? Don't worry, don't forget about getting rid of the excessive so that there's no fallout. Or less, so that there's less fallouts. So again, we're just gonna go over the rest of where the black is. And already it's starting to become a bit, a bit dark. And all we're focusing on is, whoops. Uh, oh, I don't think, I think I messed up the shape a little bit. Okay, there we are. I think we got it even this time. This time it's darkest on the upper lid. Right there. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and use, now we're gonna go ahead and use cork. Now, a darker, I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a not as dark eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and get to use cork on the rest of the lid. Cork by MAC, of course. If I can find the fit, if I can even find it, there it is, there it is. I, want, I would like to know of any dupes out there to cork, by the way because I'm starting to hit the bottom on it. And I can't really buy from the brand until, unless they stop testing on animals. So I did, they weren't testing on animals when I bought this. So anyway, I'm gonna, whoa. I'm gonna go ahead and on the rest of the lid before it creases again, go ahead and add a bit of that brown on the rest of the eyelid and right now it's starting to get darker I and mean, you're just going to try to keep it on the lid you know on just the lid and not into the socket of the eye and already it's kind of diffused that dark that dark oh, that harsh dark a little bit on the lid, harsh darkest brown. I'm gonna go ahead and also go, go on over 
it's also hard. I'm just packing it on there rather than swiping it because I want it to be the best, truest color. And we're also going to use a lighter brown anyway to blend this. To blend this out. Oh yes, and his look was always matte. Never was there any shimmer, so I'm not going to ever use shimmer on my brow bone. Since we're doing a somewhat look inspired by how Michael Jackson used to wear it in the bad era. This kind of looks similar to the bad era. It's pretty dark right now. But we're not done yet. So, alrighty. So the lid is... I think I kind of got into the socket a little bit. That's alright though because we're gonna smooth it out into this eye socket with a lighter brown since the darker brown it's still there but it's not as hard. Why is this kind of hard? And um yeah. Now, wherever my blender is, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I use, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Oh no, there's shimmers in this. Shimmers in this, so. Oh goodness. I'm trying to keep my look as matte as possible. I'm trying to stick with the matte. I keep it matte. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my Max Factor one, the lightest brown since the mid-tone. I'm going to go ahead and use that mid-tone in my eye socket to diffuse that darkness a little bit because the eyes are quite dark. As it is, I, I already used black and the base root of my eyelashes to keep the definition there. But I'm going to go ahead and go over that with liner later on anyway to define that line a little bit more. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. And it, now it's starting to look a little more diffused. I'm using this as a definition and uh, to diffuse the looking right now it's looking a little bit more uh, yes sir yes it's beginning to look kind of like his now now that I added that lighter brown right there into the eye socket we have our darkest brown and the black still there and cork also still there and still there it's still there so and I'm and again, we're going to repeat the same process on the other on the other eye. We'll do the bottom lash line a little later. But right now, we're just finishing up the top part. Okay. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead and do the other side, and this will diffuse the dark a little bit because right now it's really very hard and dark right now. Now we're going to just line the upper lid. We're going to line the upper lid a little later in a little bit, but right now we're just diffusing that lid, diffusing all of that dark because it looks kind of because it was really dark there a little bit ago. But it's what you should have. It's going from dark to light. I already have face powder on my brow bone. But I'm just trying to keep that. Try to diffuse it. I'm going to brighten up the brow bone a little bit. With, again, a strict matte color. No shame, no sheen, no shimmer, none of that. Because his look was always very matte, so I'm gonna stick with. So I think, so I recommend you attempt to stick with that as best you can. So 
I'm just cleaning up my blender right now. This one, <laughs> in case you know anybody, the blender brush. I think I cleaned it up good enough. Pretty good. They're pretty good. So now we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and use your cream shadow cream color and matte off-white bone color is what you want. The closest dupe to blank type I would say would be Bone by Gabrielle. Gabrielle colors line with Bone would be the next best thing to this. And their eyeshadow is pretty pigmented, let me tell you. Because I, and, but they're for a screen one I have to put back together because it cracked. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the brow bone now with a bit of that matte off that bone color. Also clean up the edge a little bit because his look was always very smoky at that period. So the brows are done. The eyebrow bone should look something like this and it's already beginning to look this similar. But Of course I'm gonna go ahead and Okay, lid. lid. Okay, the brow and are gonna the brow is gonna be highlighted heavy highlight. Brow light the highlighter is in my brows. I might highlight the inner corner too, just to bring a little light into the area while still keeping it matte. Alrighty, I think I got it. I think I got it all blended up. I've got to keep that legacy alive, of course, without being demeaning. and demeaning. Righty. So, clean, gonna go ahead and clean the, the blender again. Make sure to get rid of all of that pigment on there. Ugh, a towel does better on cleaning brushes dryly than paper, mind you. So, because it's stronger. All right. I'm going to go back in with my smudger brush and highlight the inner tear duct because it seemed like he had a bit of that going on. I'll have to look at a picture again to see if I got it right. I might put a picture up there to compare later on, but anyway, here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the inner corner of the eye with that blank type, the same shade we highlighted the brow bone with earlier. And smooth it. Smooth it up really well. So that up real well. All right, we got that going, and now, now it's time to go ahead and line the bottom lid with that same black pencil we used at the beginning, because we're gonna put some of the same colors on the bottom lid, because he had that dark all the way around the eyes. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so on this, we're just going to go as close as possible to the eyelash a little bit. They say this was tattooed. It's confirmed, but how they tattooed eyeliner on is they put a numbing agent on the area until the area turns a bit white so that there, so as not to cause any pain to the client. So, just gonna line that bottom lash line in black. Looks kind of like it already. Almost, but I'm not gonna stop there. Because he always wore dark. 
Sometimes he wore white in there in the inner rim of the eye, but oftentimes it seems like he wore black there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and smudge that and smudge that out. Set the pencil back aside, back to, put it back to the, put it to the, back to the side and then, and then I'll go ahead and defuse that lower line a little bit just to smooth it all out. Cause this, it's still just the base for what we're gonna add at first. All right, smudged. And lining the upper. Alrighty, it's all smoothed up. It's all smudged out now. And we're gonna go ahead and use that darkest brown that we used. But first, uh, go ahead and push in some of that black that we used on the top a bit earlier to keep that some of that definition in there. We will diffuse it a little in a bit. Again, the same thing we did on the top earlier. You want to make sure that you. Uh oh, okay. Sure that you're aiming for the the under eye there, right by the lashes, right here, is where you want the most definition. The blacker point to be right there. So underneath the liner is dark. The line is quite dark. So on the lid, on the lid, we're gonna this how we are right here, and then we're gonna do the other side in the same manner, and we're gonna diffuse that in a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, we're gonna go ahead and now that that's the blackest point's been set right by the eyelashes, we're gonna line the water line in a little bit later on. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and diffuse that darkness a little bit with my the bit of that darkest brown just a tad because we don't want to look like we're dead. Uh, we don't want to look dead, so. Uh, sorry, my cat. We just don't want to look like we're dead or zombies. And I have a bit of shadowing under my eyes right now, but it's not as bad as it was. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and if you can see what I'm doing, we're gonna diffuse that some of that black a little bit. But just a little with a little bit of that darkest brown we used on a, on the lid a little bit, a little, just to blend it a little bit, lessen its harshness, because it looks a little harsh. I'm just gonna basically smudge that liner a little more while still keeping that black right where I whoops where I pressed it. All right, here that is. Again, um, again, same thing. We're gonna be cleaning it up a little bit later anyway. Not off, but up. And lining the inner outer. That's the bottom lid. All right, we've diffused the bottom lid a little bit and it's, uh, now it's kind of looking a little bit harsh so we're gonna go ahead and add our lighter our mid-tone that our lighter brown and then our mid-tone to diffuse going in more towards the inner corner of the eye and may need to re-highlight that so again cork whoops 
um, again, we're going to use cork all right on the heels of it to. Uh, we don't want to look like we've been punched in the eye, so we don't want that dead eye look. So that's not a good, not a good look. So we're gonna diffuse that a little more towards the inner, the smooth that a little more, a little more on the inner lid, the inside right here, and we're gonna use our mid tone as well. Two, when we to diffuse that to diffuse that black a little bit in a little bit we're gonna go over it the lid to clean it up a little and of course mm -hmm. here we go how it looks right now, but it looks pretty close, doesn't it? But anyhow, very much this. This is I am still a fan, by the way. So I'm just gonna to blend all that together, and then go ahead and go forward with my mid tone. The same one that we used in the eye socket to diffuse that darkness a little bit. And then, and also to blend everything out just so it's not so dark, so hard. It's pretty dark. I guess it is around the eyes. Like this. Again, you kind of want to go like this around the inner lid of the eye. Then do this on the bottom lid, like so. All right, now that all of that eyeliner, that darkness is blended, the lid is all blended out. That's what we got so far. We're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna finally line our of the waterline of the eye with that same pencil we used a bit earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and I may retouch that highlighter a little bit. That highlight on the inner teared up a little bit. I just went ahead and did that. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and interim the lower and upper waterline of the eye because, again, when you stared into the camera, like, kind of like this, it appeared he had eyeliner inside of the rim, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. We're going to line the all the way around the waterline, like so. And then clean off. And then. Line the upper lid. Low upper and lower. All the whole waterline. I'm going to. Do that and then set the bottom. Oh dear. There goes my parents again fighting. Pray for my grandmother. She her health seems to have gotten worse, and as did her hearing, literally, so pray for her. Um All right, the line, the water line is lined. I'm just cleaning it up of any there. I need to expose it to the winds to 
keep any bacteria from getting in it. I think I'm going to go over my water line again with the... I'm going to go ahead and reline the inner rim, the black, set that with black eyeshadow to help it stay in place. Because it looks very MJ like right now. I'm going to go ahead and reline the eyes with a bit of black liquid on the top. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, hmm. Alright, the eyeliner. Eyeliner is already in. It's probably going to transfer onto the top waterline because I'm blinking. Naturals. I'm blinking. It's, the pigment's probably going to transfer now. So I'm going to shake off the excess again and press that on my waterline to make it stick. Make the eyeliner stick on. and then transfer it. Clean up, clean the brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bit more of that black. I'm just doing the inner I'm still touching up the inner waterline oh the camera's still rolling I'm still going to touch it up on the inside I'll be right back with you guys and we're going to go ahead and do the upper liner when I'm done with the waterline <laughs> alright okay. we're going to go ahead and now that that's the blackest point's been set right by the eyelashes we're going to line the waterline in a little bit later on. But for now we're going to go ahead and defuse that darkness a little bit with my the bit of that darkest brown just a tad because we don't want to look like we're dead. Uh, we don't want to look dead so uh, sorry my cat. We just don't want to look like we're dead or zombies. And I have a bit of shadowing under my eyes right now but it's not as bad as it was but Anyway, we're going to go ahead and, if you can see what I'm doing, we're going to diffuse that, some of that black a little bit, but just a little with a little bit of that darkest brown we used on, uh, on the little, little bit, a little, just to blend it a little bit, lessen its harshness, because it looks a little harsh. I'm just going to basically smudge that liner a little more while still keeping that black right where I, whoops, where I pressed it. Alright, here that is. Again, um, again, same thing. We're going to be cleaning it up a little bit later anyway. Not off, but up. And lining the inner, outer. That's the bottom lid. All right, we've diffused the bottom lid a little bit, and it's, uh, now it's kind of looking a little bit harsh. So we're gonna go ahead and add our lighter, our midtone that, our lighter brown, and then our midtone to diffuse going in more towards the inner corner of the eye and may need to re-highlight that. So again, cork, whoops, um, again we're going to use cork all right on the heels of it to, uh, we don't want to look like we've been punched in the eye, so we don't want that dead eye look. So 
that's not a good not a good look so we're gonna diffuse that a little more towards the inner the smooth that a little more a little more on the inner lid the inside right here and we're going to use our mid-tone as well too when we to diffuse that to diffuse that black a little bit in a little bit we're going to go over it the lid to clean it up a little and of course here we go that's how it looks right now but it looks pretty close doesn't it but anyhow very much this this is I am still a fan by the way so I'm just gonna to blend all that together and then go ahead and go forward with my mid-tone the same one that we used in the eye socket to diffuse that darkness a little bit and then and also to blend everything out just so it's not so dark so hard it's pretty dark I guess it is around these eyes like this again you kind of want to go like this around the inner lid of the eye then do this on the bottom lid like so all right now that all of that eyeliner the darkness is blended mm -hmm. the lid is all blended out that's what we got so far we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna finally line our of the water line of the eye with that same pencil we used a bit earlier I'm going to go ahead and I may retouch that highlighter a little bit. That highlight on the inner teared up a little bit. I just went ahead and did that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and inner rim the lower and upper waterline of the eye because, again, when you stared into the camera, like kind of like this. It appeared he had eyeliner inside of the rim, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. We're gonna line the all the way around the waterline, like so. And then clean off. And then. line the upper lid low upper and lower all the whole waterline I'm gonna do that and then set the bottom oh dear there goes my parents again fighting pray for my grandmother she her health seems to have gotten worse and as did her hearing literally so pray for her um all right the line the water line is lined i'm just cleaning it up of any there i need to expose it to the winds keep any bacteria from getting in it. I think I'm gonna go over my waterline again with that. I'm gonna go ahead and reline the inner rim 
the black, set that with black eyeshadow to help it stay in place. Because it looks very MJ like right now. I'm going to go ahead and reline the eyes with a bit of black liquid on the top. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, hmm. Alright, the eyeliner, eyeliner is already in. It's probably going to transfer onto the top waterline because I'm blinking. Naturals. <sighs> I'm blinking. It's, the pigment's probably going to transfer now. So I'm going to shake off the excess again and press that on my waterline to make it stick. Make the eyeliner stick on. And then transfer it. Clean up. Clean the brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a bit more of that black. I'm just doing the inner. I'm still touching up the inner waterline. Oh, the camera's still rolling. I'm still going to touch it up on the inside. I'll be right back with you guys, and we're going to go ahead and do the upper liner when I'm done with the waterline. <laughs> okay. All right, we're back. I have mascara already on. The eyes appear. The eyes are done. It's the finished eye, if you can, if you can see that. Mm, I might want to diffuse the bottom a little bit more. Mm, see what happens when we put the rest of the face on. All right, here we go. Since my skin's been a little dry lately, Hence the shine because I had added argan oil to that, to my skin, to moisturize it since it's been kind of, it's been pretty dry. And so, usual tinted moisturizer. We know the drill about what I'm using. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Just gonna... All right, gotta add that. About that much the whole face. First warming it so it blends more better. And then smoothing it all on. That stuff is kind of strong. It's the snow is nice and herby, but it's really, really strong. So. the eye makeup too much under the eyes. I'm just using my tinted moisturizer all over my skin to... Oh. All right. Some moisture. 
rubbing it all into to the skin like so. I'm just getting all the way around the neck too with it just so it all is together when it oxidizes. Uh, in case you didn't see what I was doing. Oh, for goodness sake, neck all the way to the neck. Basically this is so it's more blended. What the hell is going on out there? Anyway. Ugh. So sorry about my mom and gran yelling. Alright, that the eyes are done. I'm gonna conceal my under eye. Do the under eye concealer. That's how it looks right now. I'm gonna put powder all over, set it one there. We know the drill about concealer. It's, oh boy, the shadows are kind of obvious. Now it's probably being made more obvious because I have dark eyeliner on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit of that con that this one medium. Right underneath the lid, under the lid, under the eye, and slightly on the cheekbone a little bit. All right, All right. I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse that liner. The Oh dear, I hope I didn't just taint my concealer. Yeah, it doesn't appear like I did. Oh, oh, maybe a little. Ew, it is kind of got into the under eye makeup a little bit. Uh oh. Well, move it all around. There we are. Mm. Skin kind of has that plasticky cast. We don't want that. Michael's skin never had any shine at all. Gosh, it's fake. My skin looks kind of plasticky right now. Look, it is. Shines like plastic. We don't want that. Here it is, right now, the face, the face is plastic, right now, sorry about that, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the same face powder I used to set the primer on my eyes, to mattify everything. Goes grandma during her thing. Here it is, this power and Just a 
putting the powder together on top of the liquid to set it in place. Right here. This means skin is gonna be a bit more matte. Still look kinda still wanna look healthy. Cause I imagine he had a bit of dewiness in real life. I don't really want it to be too dewy though, because in pictures it was completely matte, so. I'm just diffusing and blending that powder, buffing it on and in to make it stick to the nose. Sticking to there on the nose, and I gotta do my forehead because it still has a lot of shine on there, and it's not quite it's healthy, but we don't want it to look too shiny because this skin was often very matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that into my hairline. I'm also gonna go down the nose too with it. After the uh, yeah, kind of looks Michael like almost. Oh, not for not that flake on my eyebrow. Ugh. I should ask about skin about brow dandruff, if that is a normal skin condition, or if the chemtrails cause this junk to happen. Just gonna powder it up. Not too powdery. I'm, now I'm gonna have to redefine my eyebrows, but hold on. All right, I'm just going the cheek one more time with it. Just one more time, I'm gonna diffuse my cheeks a little. Marco also wears his eyeliner, his eye makeup, the same way, too. Marco, that's the Italian character, mind you. They look like, his last name, remember, is Delani. Using it and I'm just making sure all of it's blended in. I might want to lighten the lip a little bit, tad. And there we go. A little bit. The lips have been lightened because we're going to be putting color back onto them. But we want, we may need to redefine the lip line a little bit. For now, I'm just powdering everything up. Here we are. Gross. Gonna have to clean the brush because that's after I'm finished with this because it's been on my mouth to put the powder on my lips. Now I'm gonna contour with my bronzer, the same organic wear one. I'm only gonna do it here and here pretty much because. He was contoured very heavily, so, yeah, so, Marco, too, doesn't really contour it very much. He uses reverse highlighting, or the artist use that on <sighs> the roofers out there, hence the noise, so, just contouring.
and I'm also gonna contour under my jaw too because he had very th really chiseled features especially after the surgeries he had so I'm gonna go ahead and go under all right I'm just gonna do my just doing it like this and branding my just gonna smooth it out a little more this is just a contour I'm just gonna do the jaw and now my face looks a little thinner now I'm also gonna do the temples of go ahead and do the temples as well to, again because he often I'm pretty sure he had contouring put in as well so I'm also going to go ahead and contour the, there I did the eyes first so that there would not be any cast off from the eyeshadow getting on the foundation and oh, of course I still have shine Ugh. All right, I might go ahead and do around my nose too. My nose to thin it a little bit. This is how my nose actually looks like. It's got the Roman bump because I have the Roman nose. I'm Italian mostly. I have mostly Italian heritage, which is how come my nose is like that. So. I'm just gonna contour my nose with that. I'm just gonna carve it. There we are. Just contouring it, just placing my contour. Thinning the nose is gonna be thinner. Alright, it's so how it look one side looks the other side. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. For now, see that? My nose looks a little more contoured, more defined. Bring my shape back into it and try. Mm, don't really want to hide my Roman bump too much. Hide my Italian bump. The nose bridge because of it aquiline nose I have all right I think I got the contour put down put it down the nose contours down a little bit all right I've got the bridge of my nose thinned a little bit I think I'm gonna blend that out now because the lines look are kind of hard Mom's voice is getting a little better. She's been sick too with a cold, so send out your prayers to her. Please. Gonna. Alright, the nose looks a little thinner. Now on the bridge. Now around the nostril, I'm gonna go back to my smudger brush to put the darker contour on my nostril just to thin it a little bit. My nose slightly more prominent. Do the nose, see, contour the nose a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna be putting any highlighting on my face because I already did the brows, the brow bones. And it did not appear Michael had any of that. So, in the bad era. But I could be wrong. All right, I'm just using my smudger brush around my nose. And of course, contouring my nose pretty heavy on there. And I'm also gonna go ahead and blend those contours out. Cause now my nose appears a little smaller. See the shape of my nose is a little different. All right, 
So, I go ahead and smooth those out. I'm not really going to put any um, shimmer highlighter because he never had any shine in the pictures. Never. It was meant. So, I'm going to use blank type down my nose, down the center of it a little bit to bring that shape into prominence. Chin a little bit. He had a bit of a cleft in his chin put there, he said. But I'm not going to do that because I did not get that done. So, there's the nose and the chin highlighted. I'm also going to do the cupid's bow of my upper lip too. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the cheekbone too. I'm just highlighting my cheekbone. That same blank type we used earlier. This is going to be on the cheekbone. I'm just keeping the highlight matte and a bit under my eye just to brighten it up a little bit more. And I hope I didn't lose my skin tone. I hope I didn't lose my skin color too much. Kind of lightened it a little bit. Whoops. Didn't, didn't really mean to do that. So I'm going to have to blend, blend it over it again and blend the contour and the highlight together. There. The contours are all there still. I'm just, just blending them, smoothing them. All right. And Sorry I couldn't do that. I f ended up having to do the uh, brows and the lips off camera, but I will show you what I did on the lip. All right, I because it kind of faded a little bit, but not too bad. I used lip stains instead of lip liner because lip liner would have came up if I so much as did that bit my lip. So. If I can get up a little close, show you what I'm doing while holding the camera. God, how do I do this? The bathroom lighting is the only thing I got because it's pretty much dark outside right now since it's 647. So, here we go. I already redefined the upper lip, but I'll show you again what I did. The darker, the better. Because... This now is probably going to look a lot like the bad era because of this vampiness. Their eyes have remained in place all day. It's not creasing too badly, I don't think. But anyhow, what I'm doing is try to watch into the mirror, see what I'm doing. What I did was, I'm doing a tutorial, Grandma. What? I am in the middle of a video. Yep. All right. What I was do. What I did was. Was that to create a strong point? There. I may have to leave the bathrooms because evidently my grandmother needs to go. Hold on. Ouch. Ouch. I understand that. Um, and the camera's rolling, by the way. sake. It may, the lighting may be a little better in here, in my room. Alright. So sorry about this, guys. Alright. There we are. That's a little better. Anyhow.
Okay. Let me close my tablet real quick so I don't get distract. Oh. <laughs> anyway, distract. Oops. Anyhow, what I'm doing is I'm going to be looking into a mirror while doing this. I already redefined the Cupid's bow. I'm going to do it again. So you can see where we left off. All right. Um, uh, what I did was, God, how do I configure this? Ugh, this is a bad place to do it. Oh, I almost dropped my camera. Good God. Damn. I can't believe that. Well, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and go on to my bed. There we go. It seems like... Okay, let's see if this lighting's any better. Yeah, a lot better. Much better. Now, what I'm going to do is... I've already, okay, I'll go over my Cupid's bow one more time since it faded a little bit because I ate and such. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Ugh, where do I place the camera? All right, on here would be perfect. Whoa, 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 there we go. All right, I'm just leaning into the camera. See if I can't zoom in a little bit. See if I can't zoom into that lip. A little more. A little more. There we go. That ought to be good enough. Um, I hope you are getting that. The lip. The mouth. A little bit. What I'm going to do is... Alright, I'm going to do the top. Again. Oh yeah, the lip liner was tattooed well, in his case because of, again, because he did so he wouldn't have to keep reapplying lip liner all the time. Or so that Karen Faye wouldn't have to do it, rather. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. redefining the cupid's bow again so bring a hard hard point hard all right i think i got that shape cracked now gonna I'm just redefining that lip again. Once more. Get into that corner. Again, since that faded. Again, even so, that's how it looks. Also gonna... Extend that upper lip a little bit. Just a little. Not too much. Alright, and then just redo. Uh, uh oh, I may have rounded it a little too much, but that's alright. Come on, don't run out on me. All right, here we are. Just redefining and filling that lip in a little more. I'm just defining. Getting the little point right there. Oh, okay. And the lip is relined, and oh, Jesus, where's the... There. 
there's the lip again. Swelled. Oh, I'll have to get that later. But the lip marker just fell. It's that lip stain marker from CoverGirl that I bought a few years ago before I knew about the animal testing. All right, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and fill that lip with a little more of that red stain that I put in there earlier. I'm going to have to get another lip marker. So those are great. I don't use them very often, but I'm just going to apply more lip stain. A little bit more of it. Actually, a lot more to redden them up a little more. Well, of course, because my character tends to have that redder lip. Where he's talking to C Magazine on the phone. Basically. Keeping that point that I had drawn in earlier several times. I'm just going to keep adding a bunch of stain in, in the lip. Although Michael's lips weren't always this red. Sometimes he did. Mark. Marco also does that sometimes. Wears red stain on his lips. More, more, more. I'm going to bring it to the desired intensity. I melt. Alright, I may need to clean up the steak with concealer. I'm trying to make the lip appear. My mouth may kind of favor it already just from having redefined the lip with that marker with that stain marker around my mouth earlier just to create the shape but anyway just gonna keep on doing that and doing it and doing it and doing it until it's strong I also put that foundation powder on my lip earlier so that um so that I could get it more true to color. Okay? And so that it would stay longer without drying my lips out. And I'm going to might go ahead and put on lip balm after the stain dries. And on my brows in the meantime if you can see that um I used a bit of the same black eyeliner I used on my waterline earlier on there and uh, I still have to sharpen that pencil but I will get to that Okay, I think we have it pretty red on that mouth a little bit. Mm, maybe a little bit more. A little more. More and more. A bit more of that red on the mouth. It's not true. Okay. Let bang it a little more. Gonna add the cheek side of the stain 
redden it up a little bit farther. Okay, I think it's a bit red enough. Because Marco also looks like that too. Anyway, this is the actual final look after having redefined the brows because foundation got on them inadvertently and and the lips. I'll show you what I had done after I had to recharge my camera or else I would have already shown you earlier. But anyway, that's the mouth, the eyes. Now I hope you can see the rest of the face. Uh, if I can just zoom it out. Well, well, there we go. This is the final look. The brows and everything, and the lips. The eyes, too. Now. I'm in the middle of a video, Mom! Um. Alright, I'm almost done with my video. Alright, now this is the whole look. With the eyes, the face, and everything. I also added a bit of blush to here as well. Because, yeah, sometimes he wore blush. Get some life into there, because I can hardly imagine what he had to deal with because of his vitiligo and all the things. A poor soul. Poor soul. I cannot even imagine that but anyway there anyhow so yeah this is it <clears throat> no pun intended this is this is the look I think this kind of resembles the uh, bad era a little bit what do you think because of the around the eyes but I might do another look if you wish Please know, let me know if you'd like a look inspired by different eras, the different era. All right, um, in the comments down below, and uh, I'm uh, see you all next time. Good night.